Hi, this is Galit Gofarp and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about epigenetics and lifestyle choices. The external effects of the environment can influence disease and some of these effects can even be inherited in people. So what exactly does this mean? Well, let's give an example. In 2002, Swedish scientists conducted an investigation where they examined whether nutrition affected the death rate from heart disease and diabetes and whether these effects were passed on from their parents to their children and grandchildren. And these scientists discovered that if a parent did not eat sufficiently during their develop developmental period, just before puberty, their children were less likely to die from heart issues. Also, death caused from diabetes increased in childhood if food was abundant during the same developmental period for the parental grandparent. This and other similar studies conducted over the years have suggested that diet and other lifestyle habits can cause changes to our genes passed down through, our, through generations and that these changes can seriously affect susceptibility to certain diseases and to lifespan. So what kind of changes are we talking about? The answer lies in the science of epigenetics. Epigenetics is a study of alterations in gene expression that doesn't involve changes to the underlying DNA sequence, which is set and fixed for an individual. Epigenetics allows us to understand that we are not victims to our genes, and, but that genes are potential. Epigenetics will determine which genes are expressed and which are not. And these alteration marks on the DNA, um, epigenetic marks on the DNA, affect how cells can read the genes and this leads to the, to the determination of which genes will be expressed and which will not, even if they are part of the DNA sequence. Some genes can be silenced through epigenetic markers. These epigenetic markers lead to a winding uh, of the DNA sequence or the binding to the DNA sequence in such a way that this section of the DNA is not readable and thus will not produce the genetic instructions of that part of the DNA. Research shows that we are 96% um, as similar in our genes uh, with the apes, but it is through epigenetic tags that express different parts of the genome making us so different. Epigenetic changes occur regularly and it is very much and these are very much influenced by lifestyle factors including a person's environment, their lifestyle choices or any disease state that they may have. Within cells, there are three epigenetic systems that interact among each other to silence genes. One is DNA methylation, the next is histone modification, and the last one is non-coding RNA associated with, D, uh, D, uh, with gene silencing. Disrupting any of these three systems can cause abnormal activation or silencing of genes, and such disrupt disruptions have been linked with cancer, chromosomal instability syndromes, and mental retardation on the negative side. But on the positive side, they, have, uh, they also can silence cer certain gene susceptibility to diseases. A study from 2014 has shown, for example, that a mother's exposure to pollution can impact her child's susceptibility to, develop it, to developing asthma. Air pollution can also increase the risk of neurodegenerative diseases through epigenetics. Another study from 2016 showed that vitamin D, known for its role in the regulation of gene expression, also regulates DNA methylation, epigenetically mod modulating gene expression depending on the levels of vitamin D in the body. Therefore, a child's health and mental capabilities are epigenetically influenced by the parent's environment and by their own environment. But environmental influence is not the only factor majorly affecting epigenetic changes. Dietary choices also significantly modify epigenetic tags and alter normal um, epigenetic states as well as reverse abnormal gene activation or silencing. Uh, fruit and vegetable consumption in sufficient quality quantities daily can reactivate tumor suppression genes and initiate apoptosis in cancer cells leading to cancer cell death. Fruit and vegetable consumption also leads to the repression of cancer-related genes. Foods rich in the B vitamins also protect against disease through epigenetic markers. B vitamins are methyl donors that bind to certain bases of the DNA, causing the silencing of genes, thereby protecting against disease. B vitamins are found in most beans, whole grains, fortified breakfast cereals, and green vegetables.
Phytoestrogens also have the same protective effect through epigenetic DNA modification. See my article on phytoestrogens to see how you can add these crucial nutrients to your diet. EGCG, a green tea polyphenol, genistein found in soybeans and soy products, sulforaphane found in broccoli uh, foods from the broccoli family such as broccoli, cabbage and kale, and selenium found in Brazil nuts and resveratrol found in grapes and allyl mercaptan found in garlic and others have been demonstrated to be effective agents against cancer and other diseases through acting um, uh, through epigenetic mechanisms that affect the epigenome. Cashews, tomatoes and parsley also have epigenetic uh, effects as well. You should regularly incorporate all of these foods mentioned into your diet to reduce any risk of suffering from disease while also providing your future children the benefit of a longer, healthier life. On the other hand, you should limit any alcohol consumption as alcohol is associated with harmful epigenetic modifications as well as the development and progression of several human cancers, including colorectal cancer and head and neck cancers. So I hope this video was helpful for you and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.